Simpanan. Welcome sa Tuesdays with Cherry, with Ate Cherry. <laughs> of course, Inday. And I'm so happy to be here. And I have so many questions kay Ate Cherry because I want to learn more how to be a better advocate for, of course, agriculture. I don't want to follow Ate Cherry's footsteps. I won't be able to, maybe. <laughs> but I will try my best. <laughs> You know, everyone who is telling me, Ate, you're an inspiration. I want to follow your footsteps. <laughs> I always tell them, you will be better than me because when I started, I had no mentor. And now I'm a mentor to you, so for sure, you'll be better than me. So in Dialyza, uh, it's my pleasure to interview you and to be in my show. Daghang salamat kaayo, no? Uh, Parihamad ay tagbisaya. So nindot, oh, no? Pag- <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Inday, uh, can you please tell me about uh, what excites you in joining, you know, uh, Miss Universe Philippines representing Davao City? And let's talk about a bit about your childhood. Is it a dream when you were a child to join like a beauty pageant? Um, it's really interesting because I never dreamed of becoming a beauty queen. I, I know that I wanted to do something really big in the future, but I had no idea what it is. I just let my life flow. I just really welcome different opportunities in my life. So, sabi ko, okay, whatever life brings me, I will accept it. That's why um, I decided to make that uh, hashtag at the cherry tung Indai can make it happen because I really can't <laughs> define myself. <laughs> but I can do anything. Just, just give me time to learn it, and then I can, I can do it. So, parang yun, yun yung I think. Pinaka, ano ko, like, I can do anything. I don't have, like, a very, very specific dream. And right now that I am in the Miss Universe platform, I just realized now I want to make this platform a life-changing, not just for myself, but especially for the people in my community. So I, when I got back home from United States, kasi I modeled there for, like, a year and a half, ano ko na, um, but medyo okay na yung family ko eh. Medyo okay na kasi natulungan ko sila. So, sabi ko, I think I can do something else sa community namin. Tapos tingin-tingin lang ko, parang, parang meron naman kaming lupa, pero walang ginagawa, walang nagagamit. So, sabi ko, I think this will be my advocacy. I wanna use what I have to uh, improve our life and the lives of the people in my community. So, I started looking up people on Instagram. And that's how I met Kawayan, si Jan. Yes. Si Jan was the one who introduced me to you. So yes, from there, I remember that. Yeah, so from there, nagbago talaga yung pananaw ko sa farming. Sabi ko, oh my gosh, parang before I was so bitter about how we are not so supported with the projects sa province namin. And then when I talked to you and the people who work in Agria, sabi nila, we have to change how we think about farming. We have to think about positive narrative. So parang from there, sabi ko, oh my God, ang dami ko palang trabahuin. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to take it slow, parang step by step. I wanted this to be a life journey for me, not just an advocacy for a pageant. So yun. Ay, ang ganda. You know, I'm always uh, very aware from the beginning na it's really true to your heart. Kasi the moment you approach me na uh, you want to be my mentor, you know, um, um, you, you you actually asked to meet up, diba? We met up in Salcedo Market because that's where my neighborhood is. And I always go every Saturday. Tapos sabi ko, ah, you know, if you want, these are the things that you need to learn. Eh, ako pa naman, napaka-open book in terms of agriculture, you know. Uh, I can talk whole day about agriculture. I can also, you know, share insights to people all day about agriculture. But I always also see kung totoo ba yung mga taong to na gusto nila mag-advocate sa agriculture kasi ayoko magsayang ng oras. So, kaya I remember, di ba, in-invite kita agad sa aking farm in Marinduque. Oh, oh, really and I remember ano, hosting one of the activities and I don't know, I was just so mad about why are they not using the land? <laughs> Sabi ko, why are we not doing anything? Andito pala yung ano, ideas. Why are we not doing something? <laughs> Sabi ko. Kasi I remember as a child, uh, talk, going back to the childhood, yes. um, I was really inspired by my grandfather, si Lolo Tolyong. Okay. So my father has eight siblings and all of them, all of them are farmers. My grandmother mm-hmm. also is a farmer. So parang nasa dugo na namin yung copra farmers but uh, my lola and lolo, 
they really like taking care of the community. Parang yung, malaki kasi yung family namin. So, kung sino man yung mga kaapilyedo namin, kahit ilang generation na yun, tutulungan nila through farming. To the point na, di ba sa panahon dati, medyo mura pa yung lupa, 50 pesos, yes. ganyan. So, parang pinamimigay lang nila yung land kasi for them, wala masyadong value. So, ngayon na, mal- mahal na siya ngayon, parang pinagsisiyan ko, bakit ganon Hindi namin naalagaan kung ano meron kami dati. Yeah. So, ngayon, yung papa ko is, we have one hectare, actually two. Pero, even though it's only two hectares, marami ka pa din pwedeng gawin dun eh. Yes, of course. So, so, yeah. Yun yung na-experience ko growing up. Nagkukopra ako, and then I've always found agriculture as something fun adventure. Although nakakapagod siya, pero while you're working, kasi parang may mga nakikita kang kung ano-anong klaseng halaman or insecto and everything there in the farm just gives me life and happiness. That's why I'm really into it. Yeah. Actually, you know, I always share nga na yung farming is the only sector na you're taking care of all living things. Diba? You take care of the plants, which are all breathing. You're taking care of animals. Buhay ang mga yon. And then you're taking care of people. Both the farmers na nagpapatubo ng halaman at tagalaga ng hayo. And then second part are the consumers who need to consume healthy. So I'm so happy now. Same time ng childhood. Uh, I grew up also in a farm. Kaya iba yung feeling, iba yung affinity towards agriculture. Mas malalim talaga. Hindi lang siya biro na parang pinasukan mo kasi oh it's a fad or it's a fashion to be in agriculture but because kasi yun yung namulat yung mata mo eh yun no. yung pinagisnan mo yun yung henerasyon no. ng pamilya mo at uh, for sure you know inday inday can really make it happen i truly believe in that <laughs> i believe in that. i believe <laughs> yeah so inday Uh, when you were working um, in the U.S., what brought you to the U.S.? Can you please tell us the journey? Anong natapos mo ba sa college? Nagtapos ka ba ng modeling, arts, or whatever? Please journey us. Parang, to that. parang if I go back talaga, parang ang dami natin <laughs> pwede pag-usapan. Yes. <laughs> Other than farming, also, yung, pa- yung papa ko, he's mahilig sa sports. Yung mga tita ko, mahilig sa sports. So, nag-basketball din ako. Mm. And then, he wanted me to enroll criminology. Pero sabi ko, parang hindi ko ata, ano, hindi ko ata dream maging police. Kasi bombero siya eh. So, Ikaw ang pinakamagandang police sa balat ng lupa <laughs> kung nangyari yon <laughs> Oh my gosh. Parang, siguro hindi ako ganito ngayon kung nag-criminology ako. Kasi yes. I'm for sure, medyo tombo, tomboy-tomboy din ako nung bata pa ako eh. So, sabi ko, I, I don't want to be, ano, police. Parang hindi ko siya dream. Although I have nothing against being a police. So pumunta ako sa school, katabi ng dapat kong pag-enrollan. Pumunta yeah. ako doon, tapos nag-apply ako ng scholarship ng basketball. Eh yung available course nila is psychology, counseling, and education. Sabi ko parang mas ano ako doon sa psychology kasi mahilig ako sa science, yung mga investigative, mga courses. So nag-psychology ako kasi sabi ko pwede maging doctor, pwede maging lawyer. Pero hindi naman ako nahulog doon. Naging model <laughs> naman ako. <laughs> Oo. So, anong nagdala sa'yo nung sa pagka-model mo? When you're young, ba't iba mahilig sa, sa mga probinsya no? or city? May mga Miss Davao or may mga pageant. So, sumasali ka ba doon? Or sa school mismo? Di ba may mga pageant sa school? Kasi hindi ako, nag, hindi ako masyadong pageant girl. But there's this one model who reached out to me on Facebook na parang, Hi, could you feel, could you please like my picture ganito ganyan kasi may pa contest siya. Tao sabi ko, how do you become a model? Sabi ko. <laughs> Tapos sabi niya, sabi niya, oh, oh, you just have to talk to the manager ganito ganyan. Tapos tinanong ko, oh, I'm 59. Tapos sabi niya, oh, you can be a model, sabi niya. Oh my, what a beautiful height in die. Alam mo ba, I'm 58. Oh, <laughs> Tapos pala yung lamang mo sa akin. <laughs> Oo, oh, medyo taga dito kita eh. Oo oh, nga eh. Di ba? Nakita mo pag magsama tayo. <laughs> Oo, oh, hanggang taga dito. Oh, oh. Oh. So, uh, hindi ko talaga siya, like, hirap explain yung life ko kasi hindi ko siya planado. Talaga kung ano yung dumadating sa buhay ko, I just welcome it with gratitude and with, and I, with a mindset na I can learn this, I can do this. So, from modeling, nakakuha ko na opportunity na mag-represent sa Davao City to oh. join Century 2 na Super Buds. 
Oh, yun na. Naging century tuna. Super bad. So, hindi mo to nakwento sa akin. So, Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Yan yung nagdala sa akin dito sa Manila. Oh, wow. So, from there, from Davao to Manila, sabi ko hindi na ako uwi ha- pagkatapos ng finals. Kasi gusto ko i-person na yung modeling dito sa Manila. And then, dire-diretso na. And then, like, Asia's Next Top Model, nagbinibini Pilipinas. And then, I was able to go to the US kasi nakapag-build ako ng book ko as a model eh. So, oh, yun yung sinasabi ko. Nag-apply ako ng agency with the help din ng mga Filipino um, pageant fans. Sila Harley. Also, Mama J sa Miss yeah. Universe. Kasi ka-friend niya yung may someone from the United States na tumutulong sa mga beauty queens dito sa Philippines. So, okay. pag-move ko sa LA, doon ako tumira sa kanya, si Mama Hides. So, parang may mga Filipino community din kasi doon na tumutulong sa mga Filipino talent. So, that's how I was able to go there and work as a model for a year and a half. Ang galing, Inday, no? I love that attitude of just being open and uh, yeah. welcoming the opportunities that knocks your door, di ba? And then, welcoming it with gratitude. Kasi, you know, I always believe gratitude is attitude. And, yes. you know, At- attitude, attitude is attitude. <laughs> and attitude is altitude. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Yes, that's true. That's true. Oh, so it's it's so nice because you just welcome opportunities, and I think when when you're just open, uh, opportunities will come, and will continue sailing, and you will really reach to where you are, di ba? So Inday, about the Asia Top Model, kwentuhan mo kami. Paano ka napunta doon? Kasi from a a girl in a farm, pumunta sa Asia Top Model. Huh? Parang, parang siguro ikaw, parang sa farming, parang kung ano yung opportunity, ikaw, andun ka din. Yeah. <laughs> Di ba, ikaw, kahit saan, basta I can express myself and I can learn something. Parang ganun ka. Siguro ganun din ako eh. Nung nabigyan ako ng opportunity na mag-audition sa Ages Next Top Model, hindi ko siya seneryoso kasi parang, um, try ko lang. <laughs> try ko lang. Yes. Mag, hindi, ko, hindi ko talaga siya parang pinangarap. Tapos, nung nag-audition ako, I'm super candid, like, I don't speak just so I can get the affirmation of the people who are asking me questions. Tinanong nila ako na, ano bang kailangan na, ano bang kailangan namin makita from you that will benefit us? Yeah, yung, nag, yung producers ang nag-ask sa show. Sabi ko, I am honest, I am, I have a strong personality, but at the same time, I can make you laugh because I'm funny. Parang ganun lang ng mga usapan. Like, I'm just really candid and natural. Tapos yung may nagsiserve na waiter na burger sa kanila, sabi ko, oh, I'm also hungry. Can I have some? <laughs> Imagine, so you <laughs> eat the burger. Yun yung nakasali sa'yo sa Eat Your Top Model. <laughs> But you're a model. You shouldn't be eating a burger. Sabi ko, sabi niya, ano secret mo? Bakit ka paya? Tapos you eat anything. Sabi ko, I just eat anything. And after that, I pray to God that I'll be I'll be in the same size after. <laughs> Tapos tawa sila. And then nakuha ako. I'm just being myself. Oh, yeah. You know, it's always very good to be yourself. And then you speak up your mind and be natural. You know, like mm-hmm. sinabi mo nga sa akin, no? parang all the opportunities in agriculture, locally and globally, Ah, nakukuha ko, di ba? Kasi ganyan din ako eh. Pag sinabing ganito, parang, uy, maganda yun ah. Sige, try natin. Pag, <laughs> pag you know, pag failure, it e, e, natuto. Hindi ka naman mamamatay siguro by trying. Yeah. Di ba? And for me, I'm always love the authenticity of who you are. Lalo na makipag-usap sa mga tao. Ako, I always pick up my mind eh. I don't even care if the person will be, um you know, sometimes insulted of me. So, ako lang parang, you will love me or you will hate me. But if you will love me, I will love you more. O, oh, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Tama. Siguro ganyan din dapat mindset ko. O, oh, dapat. Grabe, Inday. I'm, I'm super ano, happy. Kasi, you know, these are the things actually that I don't really know about you. Na, about your journey to Asia, stop model. Masarap pala pag kumakain ng burger. Sarap ng mga tao. Kukuha ka. So, at least, di ba? Uh, so, when you were in the U.S., na-mention mo kanina na you were helping your family. Uh, are you the eldest or the youngest or how many siblings do you have? I have um, I have an elder brother, pero ngayon I, we have an, a younger brother. Kasi nag-adopt kami ng, ano, ng bata sa farm. Parang, wow! I don't know what exactly our relationship is with their family, pero... 
si Matoy kasi, parang pumapasyal lang siya sa amin lagi. Eh, yung mama ko mahilig siya mag-alaga ng mga bata. So, tumira siya sa amin. And eventually, we decided na, okay, you live here, we will send you to school. Actually, what's really interesting at the Cherry is, he is studying agriculture right now. How old is he? Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> agriculture ka. Kasi we, we, you all have everything that you need to improve, to study, to do experiment. I will do everything to make your dream happen. Sabi ko sa kanya. So, nag-agriculture sa, siya ngayon. And then he asked me just few days ago na, Ate, can I, can I borrow a piece of your property para tamnan ko ng pechay? Talong sabi ko, wow, pabunggahin mo yan sa'yo na yan. <laughs> sabi ko, wala ko lang. So, um, I have an elder brother and then younger brother. And then, while I was in the U.S., it's really difficult for me kasi I went there with $3,500 lang. And hindi ko alam kung paano siya iba budget. And I don't know how to uh, survive there. Kasi starting pa lang ako eh, and it's a new place. I don't even know how to speak the language properly pa. So, parang, okay, I'm just gonna trust Lord and my capabilities and the people who are helping me and eventually parang I could send money at least $500 to $1,000 a month and yun yung, yun yung way na nakakatulong ko sa family ko so parang konting pintura lang, konting ayos lang ng bahay but it's not really na parang every month I have to pay for everything kasi may, may ano naman yung papa ko, may work naman siya pero if in case they need more to take care of themselves, to improve our uh, simple living, then I, I have something to give. And yes. it's, it's always a pressure for me kasi ako yung magiging breadwinner eh. Sabi ko, if I give up my life just so I can take care of my family, paano naman ako? So sabi ko, nung sa US ako, I'm just really gonna make most out of this. And then, pag napagod na ako dito, I'll figure out something that has longevity. And then yun dun ko na isip yung farming. Sabi ko, meron naman kaming meron naman kaming property. Maybe I can learn business. Yes. Though I don't know how yet. <laughs> Pero eventually, <laughs> na-connect ko siya sa Miss Universe Philippines.